welcome back to my channel today we are going to have a go at creating a color mixing swatch cube I suppose you would call it um, here I've chosen to use six colors I've used red orange yellow green blue and purple and um, we're going to be doing a similar one to this today but using greens and as you can see here one half of the cube is a paler colour and the other is more of a pure colour mix straight from the pan. And the reason why I have chosen to do that is there was a few, I was looking at a few different tutorials trying to get an idea of how I could create my own and a lot of them doubled up on colours when they were done in this cube pattern and I, I was going, I was at one stage I was going to do just a triangle sort of shape. Um, but I'm quite OCD so you know I still wanted to do the cube because I quite like the effect of it as well so I thought to get even more colour range out of mixing my colours together I would add white to one half of it so that way I end up with um, lots of different tonal ranges and colour ranges as well so I've got the colours named down the side and up the top and today we're going to have a go at doing this with greens. So the first thing that I'm going to do is find the centre of the page. You would have noticed in the colour one that it wasn't completely centred in the page. Uh, this because it was my first one and I was just playing around with uh, how many squares I needed um, and the size of them. So I'm going to centre this one uh, just really to help with my OCD and I like things to be centred and even. So I've found the centre, now I need to see where my cubes are going to be, or my squares are going to be. So it's seven across and seven down, and that yellow square is going to be the middle one, and there's three either side. I have chosen to do my squares at two centimetres each, so that way it gives me enough space to show the colour. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish drawing this up for you. Okay, now that's all drawn up, I like to go over it very lightly with an eraser just to get rid of the heavy lines. Um, and these are the greens that I'm going to be using. There are six greens in my palette and I'm going to go ahead and put their names in the end boxes. I did erase the very end lines on these two sides just so I could put the name straight out instead of in the box. And at the bottom I've just written plus white because that's going to be my white shade and I've drawn a guideline. So now we can go in and add the colours. Now using this guideline we are going to add pure colour on one side of our square creating a triangle and then on the other side is where we're going to mix the pure colour straight out of the pan with the white. Now with this first one I did do them both at a time but I found the colours bled together so I would recommend doing all of the pure colours first and then going in and mixing them with the white. This will just stop I suppose colour contamination. Uh, so we'll just go in and add the pure colours and once we've finished with the pure colours we'll mix those with the whites and then it's on to the next step. Okay, now we're up to mixing the colours together. So this first one I'm going to mix phthalo green with the viridian hue. And all I do is I grab a little bit from each pan and in my mixing area on my palette, or if you don't have one of those, use a plate, mix those two together. I then rinse off my brush, um, grab some white paint, mix that in and add it 
where you can see I'm adding it below so this way one half of our square color palette will have a white tinge and the other will be a pure and you just go along so the next one I did was thalo green and emerald and then I'll do thalo green and hookers green dark and then thalo green with hookers green light and thalo green with the sap green and mixing the white in between each of those and it's literally just about following the pattern so I'll speed it up now for you and you can just um, see how I make mine get a lot of color variants here you can see I'm just using greens and even by using just greens and mixing those together I do get a lot of different um, tones from those colors this is something that works with any colors as well so you can do one before with my initial colors um, you can just try some blues and pinks you might want to just choose some random colors that you like to use a lot and mix those together I just like to finish mine off by giving it a title and this is going to be called shades of green um, because it's obviously different shades of green I'm also going to try another one of these with blues just to see the different tones that I can get um, from my blues The very last thing you're going to want to do to finish it off, once it's completely dry, don't even touch it until it's dry, dry as you can get it, uh, you're just going to want to go over and just erase the pencil lines that you still have remaining just to neaten it up. Um, still, I would still recommend pressing lightly over your colours, um, but the paper will be dry so it won't be as fragile. Now I hope this way helps. Um, and apart from that, happy colour mixing and colour swatching guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!